70. I was playing in Chicago one night. Little club, about my guess. And uh, in those days, we weren't just doing like one, you know, show and then taking off. We was there for two weeks or something like that, do three shows a night. And they'd change over the crowd and everything, you know. And so I was done with one of those shows one night. It was long, two or three in the morning, whatever it was. So I'm walking out with my guitars, little guy gets in my way. He says, Arlo, before you go, I'm going to sing you a song. I said, come on, man. I don't want to hear any songs. I hate songs. <laughs> I don't even like my songs. Why should I be listening to your song? I was just tired of it. Wanted to get out of there. It's being a butthead, you know. He says, Arlo, I just want to sing you one song. I said, okay, I'll tell you what. Buy me a beer, and I'll sit here and drink it. And as long as it lasts, you can do whatever you want. He says, that sounds like a good deal. I says, it does? <laughs> it turned out to be one of the finer beers of my entire life. <laughs> Turns out this guy wrote a lot of great songs, man, and I became friends with him that night. This is a song he sang me. His name was Steve Goodman. <laughs> 